So a lot of people, probably the vast majority of you Android users, completely ignore Google Assistant. They turn it off because it gets annoying and just forget it's there entirely. But after watching this video and seeing what it's capable of, I can almost guarantee you're going to want to download it and start using it again. Right, so just before we start the video, if you don't already have Google Assistant on your device, then skip towards the end of the video first, and I've actually uploaded a tutorial on how to download it and enable it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is IFTTT, a completely separate application, but once integrated with Google Assistant, completely extends its functionality. One of the really cool things it lets you do is to start making it work with your smart devices. So I've set it up with my Hue lights, and when I say it's party time, it'll cycle through a whole bunch of different scenes in my room. Now another cool thing is that you can link it with some of your other services on your phone, for example Google Calendar. Initiating IFTTT and then saying block some time, it'll automatically just block the next hour in your calendar, or whatever amount you want, because you can customise it within the app. So I'm feeling lucky has always been a bit of an easter egg hidden within Google services, and it's no different with the Google Assistant. And in this case, saying the three lucky words actually triggers a party game. You can have up to 10 people, and all it'll do is go round each person individually, nickname them, and then start asking you questions. It'll keep track of the scores. It's actually a really entertaining thing to do if you've just run out of stuff to do. And until you tell it to quit, it just won't stop. So one of the big problems I've been having with my Galaxy S8 is that it takes me quite a long time to unlock the phone, because the fingerprint scanner isn't exactly in a great location. Well, did you know you can also use Google Assistant to straight away unlock your device? Once you've activated it, you can bypass your lock screen security simply by saying OK Google, and this still prevents other people from copying you because their voice doesn't sound like yours. So one of the most useful and quite underrated things that Google Assistant can do is calculate a whole bunch of arbitrary decisions. So if you want to, for example, roll a dice, flip a coin, pick a number between 1 and 65, Google Assistant does all of that for you, and that alone means it can replace about half the stuff you find in a board game box. And it gets better, because it can also handle far more complex commands. You could tell it to roll 3 dice, or flip 200 coins and tell you the number of heads it gets back. It's a completely unbiased and fair way of making arbitrary decisions. So something else you might not know is that Google Assistant actually has quite the talent for singing. It can sing you happy birthday, and it's actually very good at reciting nursery rhymes. It can even, if you want it to, create some parodies on them, and it's actually got so many verses built into it, I was genuinely surprised. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. So one of the true pillars of Google services is its ability to translate text, and to be honest, built into the Google Assistant is one of the finest implementations of this. As well as being able to translate almost instantaneously and offline, Google Assistant will automatically read out the translation that results from it, which means you can have an almost real-time conversation with someone of an entirely different origin. And of course, translation works both ways. When someone else says something in Spanish, it can translate it back to English. So the Assistant also prevents you ever forgetting anything. Not only can you ask it to remind you of something in a certain time or when you reach a certain location, but what it can also do is to just remember things. You can just tell it something which you would normally have to tell to the person sitting next to you, and then if you ever want to recall that information, for example, where did I leave my keys, you can just ask it to do that and it will bring it back for you. So guys, that is Google Assistant. It's pretty fascinating. And to be honest, I think until I fully explored it, I didn't myself even realise the capabilities it has. Some of it's just for fun, but some of it is genuinely useful and can save you carrying half the tools that you normally carry with you. So if you don't already have Google Assistant enabled on your device, the following sort of minute and a half or so will show you how to do that. If you already have that though, be sure to check out my other cool things you can do on Android devices. I'll put a card up now. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.